Hello, Christian Livingstone here, and uh, it's uh, June, early June 2023, and I'm on my electric uh, hand cycle. It's a tricycle with the hand crank front gears. I developed this more than 10 years ago. I had uh, one uh, 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 rear motor uh, uh, was driven, and then I put a second motor on the other rear wheel so I could go in the snow and mud. And so this is kind of a first, I think, uh, for trikes. And uh, but this uh, video, this project is on a an off-the-shelf trike, and it's a, a kind of a new company. Uh, I guess they've been around for five or more years uh, in the southwest uh, of uh, North America. But they import some Asian uh, uh, electric bikes, e-bikes, but they just came out with an uh, electric trike. And I think it is a, a, it's a winner. And uh, I've got a, a, another trike I've kind of modified and developed over the years, too, as a backup to this. And uh, it's a little more normative with the foot pedals. And uh, it started out, you know, no drive. And, and I... Uh, uh, went to uh, mid drive and then uh, rear drive and then I came back to front drive. Front drive is, is pretty common uh, for a trike. That's a, an easy way to implement and you know that has benefits, ease. But uh, this uh, company is called Electric and their uh, trike is called Electric XP Trike. And it, uh, it has a kind of a cool innovation uh, in that it has a rear differential. And when I was uh, on the other track, you'll see it, uh, when I had it rear drive, it was only to one of the rear uh, wheels. And it wasn't a, a hub motor. It was uh, chain driven to that rear wheel. And it was a, a you know, it could be, it, it's a Cyclone 3000 motor, 3000 watts that is. And, you know, you, you don't always get the 3000 because uh, I didn't have a 72 volt battery. I had a 52 that charged up to 58, but, uh, that thing was wicked. I mean, it had a lot of torque and it would give me torque steer on the takeoff. So I had to gear it down to, you know, make it less potent torque wise, but gave me lots of speed too. But uh, no, then I thought, well, maybe I'll electrify it. And so I, I did the mid mount uh, uh, up front here and you know, it worked uh, well enough. I didn't put it on the road, but uh, just the concept of it uh, was functional and I thought, nah, I don't like it. So then I brought it down here and uh, as you can see, the uh, the pedaling, uh, and there's a, a coaster brake, the pedaling uh, actuates this wheel here. You can see uh, how it transmits uh, easily enough. But over here on the uh, Cyclone motor, it goes directly to this wheel over here and you can see there's a uh, a freewheeling uh, centrifugal clutch so there's no magnetic drag and I like that the clutch is uh, exposed so it's easy to change out but I also left a way in because this is just a single speed with the uh, that one sprocket down here but uh, I left a way in for this to latch on to the uh, internal hub if need be. I bought a second internal hub just so I could get this sprocket and put it on this side as well. So, uh, you know, I can just delete that uh, sprocket uh, there and uh, uh, latch on to this. Mm. And here, that's the throttle. You can see it goes. But anyway, the, uh, the cool thing about this XP track, I think, one of the cool things, uh, the most cool thing is probably that rear differential because it, it's not front drive, so you're always going to have traction in the back, and uh, it's not going to have that torque steer that, you know, I had happen when I was experimenting and doing, doing stuff. I mean, it was still, still okay. But... There it is. Electric XP trike. Arrived to my door. I don't think it'd even get through that door if I want to take the box in, but I'm not. It's going uh, right out to the garage there, and uh, it arrived uh, uh, in outstanding condition. You can see the uh, the box wall is uh, double uh, corrugated uh, cardboard, and there's some 
foam or poly uh, kind of padding. And it's uh, taped up well, it's stapled well. Okay, the electric company, uh, I believe, is throwing these uh, two items, the front rack and the basket that attaches to the rack for free, you know, and on top of that, the uh, introductory price of uh, $14.99, free shipping, uh, no tax out of state, so just a, a good value. But uh, my friend uh, has ordered the uh, big tractor seat with the backrest too, so, but you know, you still get the standard seat uh, included. She said that uh, shipment is uh, coming to her directly, so, you know, we'll still have a seat to play with here for a minute, but uh, I'm just gonna slip these uh, corners of the card box, uh, cardboard box down and slide the uh, whole unit out. Right off the bat, this uh, charger seems better than uh, the one I got uh, that came with the battery I put in here. This thing, you know, they're, they're both, I believe, two amp uh, chargers uh, for 48 volts. It uh, charges up to, uh, what does it say, uh, 50, 54 or something. But yeah, this, this weighs about twice as much, and that's a, a good sign. Okay, yeah, with the handlebars uh, brought a little closer to where they're meant to be ultimately, then this uh, is able to be turned. But lift this uh, little headstock piece uh, up uh, just in case it wants to hit this uh, headlight or something. So yeah, it's, uh, it's all falling into place. Okay, here's another one of these crazy ball head joints that I'm not really familiar with, but uh, I'm just gonna rotate it, snap it in place, and there it is. It's uh, probably locked and loaded, and I really don't care to uh, you know, investigate uh, uh, how to unlock it. I really don't care. I would think that 95% uh, of the people that get these folded and locked in place will never fold the, the frame back up. Here's a real interesting feature. This is a, a, a hub motor, but you can see it's not in the hub. It's in the place where an internal gearbox would normally go. And, you know, theoretically, you could take this hub motor out and put a gearbox because this is a single speed. It goes to this uh, freewheeling single speed sprocket. Uh, but on the other side, uh, how it gets, gets the uh, final drive to the differential back there is where the... Uh, uh, disc brake mount would usually be on the hub and uh, it's over there I can't see over there very well but that's how they did it and it's clever it's clever and so uh, I believe this is a uh, uh, you know the same as a Bafang uh, uh, planetary gear hub motor so this could probably be replaced you know maybe not even through electric if you want if you wanted to beef it up a little more uh, wattage uh, motor somehow you could but uh, I see no reason this isn't designed to be a speed demon you know it's a, a a little downsized too you can see the 20 inch tires I like it I really do I like how they uh, have the fat tires but they're not overly fat you know 20 inch tires and uh, there's no uh, front shocking system either and you know they'll put the front shocking systems on trikes and, and other bikes you know to hype it up as a, a valuable added feature but they're usually crummy shocks and people don't like the shock and it would be better not to have the shock and you know when you have a, a, a shock uh, on the front forks then it kind of negates you ever uh, you know putting an electric hub motor on the front wheel usually you know it could be done but uh, it just uh, no I don't like the front shock so I like the steel uh, frame i like the uh, hub motor with the planetary gears better torque on with planetary gears and it's a freewheeling clutched uh, hub motor so you don't get magnetic drive like you do on that big old thing i got it's it's minimal it's not an issue to me but uh, you can see it's a that's a bigger heavier motor and it doesn't have that five to one planetary gear uh, uh, ratio which this does so this has quicker takeoffs uh, you know, more towing uh, 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 tendency, you know, it uh, can take off quicker with the heavier loads. So, you know, you could put a kid in the back and groceries in the front and, you know, not really be slowed down too much. Okay, I was just getting ready to uh, slime the tires uh, and my friend showed up uh, with a couple of items that uh, this company Electric uh, sent to her. It's a pretty cool uh, lock. It's a... Uh, Kind of an expandable kind of a concept and uh, 
it's got a key in there, but basically it's like a chain, sturdy, and it's uh, integrated well. I mean, this company and probably the Chinese factory, uh, you know, developed these uh, uh, accessories to really go together well. Now, in the uh, instructions, it says that this uh, would go on the back side of the uh, seat post too, but uh, you can see there's obviously a... Uh, that's where the battery is. So those instructions are probably for a, an unelectrified uh, model uh, similar to this. So it's going on the front. It's going to go right there instead of in those two upper uh, uh, places that uh, it would normally bolt. But it's going there where a water bottle probably goes. And also uh, it came with a couple of mirrors. Or she bought a couple of mirrors. and. Uh, Having uh, you know, a view uh, behind you, mirrors is, is very helpful. And uh, uh, you know, I I only run with one on my left side, but you know, one is is good. Two two is probably better. Otherwise, uh, oh, you know, I, I mentioned that uh, you know the frame is uh, steel, and I like that, but it's not really uh, the forks. The forks are uh, steel, and the tail tail section is steel, as well as the rack. But the, the frame itself, when I knocked on it, I thought, oh, that's not steel. It doesn't have the sound. So this is aluminum. And, you know, the TIG welding looks uh, more like uh, aluminum. So, you know, I, I double-checked. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, it's about half steel. And uh, half is good. I mean, uh, like I said... You know, with these uh, steel dropouts in the front, you could uh, put a, uh, uh, a hub motor on the front uh, and put a torque arm, you know, better. It'd be better to do it on a steel. And in the back there, there's, uh, you know, a lot of stress forces since it's triangular and you get force one way, the other way. Shear forces could uh, probably wreak havoc if that was aluminum, but it's not. So... Uh, Good choice, uh, China, electric, uh, and having that tail section steel, not aluminum. And you can see this gooseneck uh, uh, arrangement. It has a flat spot, so you can't buy anything uh, off the shelf. This might be uh, exclusive to uh, the electric system, but uh, here it is. Uh, this looks a little oversized too, so you know you probably don't want to change any of the handlebars or anything. So. This is unique uh, uh, to this trike, uh, I'm guessing. But, uh, and the bosses, dig the bosses. The bosses are built into the headset tubing here, and uh, that means you uh, uh, bolt the uh, front uh, uh, rack or basket right to the frame so that the, the basket doesn't turn with the steering like typical baskets from old bikes that attach to the axles and the handlebars. So that keeps uh, uh, the basket uh, in the center. And, you know, if you turn, you won't dump groceries. And that's ultimately what I did on uh, mine. I, but I use collars to grab onto that uh, headset tubing there. And so uh, that basket doesn't turn with the uh, steering either. But it's uh, great that they... Uh, really planned ahead for this kind of stuff and you know they included uh, those uh, front baskets and uh, the uh, rack assembly and it's similar in the back you know some of these might be interchangeable with bolt holes and stuff love to see this kind of stuff there's a little extras package included in this uh, uh, shipment and uh, I believe uh, I saw a cable an extra cable so I'm sure that uh, after I do uh, put that uh, included complimentary rack and basket that comes with this. This is going to have to be moved up forward to where that is. And, uh, uh, you know, you may love that or hate that, but uh, you could probably uh, adjust this and uh, put it up uh, here, maybe. I don't know what I would do. Uh, you know, you can see mine. I uh, put my light under the basket. It's down there, but uh, that baby's bright. And uh, this certainly looks bright enough to me. These cast aluminum uh, platform style uh, foot pedals are good too. I mean, they're, they're a step above anything plastic that you'll find. I actually use plastic on mine because I thought, eh, it might uh, 
it might be a little softer if some, somebody wants to ride barefoot, uh, not me, but uh, these uh, nubs are, uh, uh, aren't sharp, so, you know, you could probably get away with, you know, barefoot, but uh, you can take a grinder and grind, soften those if you want, but uh, no, this is uh, uh, pretty good. The, co the quality uh, is consistent throughout. It's not top of the line, but uh, it's very good. Okay, yeah, here it is from the other side. I believe that uh, sprocket uh, is installed where uh, a disc uh, from a, a disc brake uh, mount is right under there. But uh, interestingly, it uh, has a little idler sprocket too for good tensioning uh, all the time. You know, front disc brake, rear disc brake too. Very nice. I'm just digging it. And so there it is, uh, put together. I got a few things to strip off some of that literature and stuff, but uh, you see all the uh, fittings there, the, the newer type, those uh, uh, waterproof fittings. I don't know if some of those still need to be connected. It kind of looks like it does, but uh, that'll be an easy enough task. I really haven't uh, noticed uh, an assembly uh, manual, but uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, work in the electrics. There's a, a readout and a pedal assist uh, system, one through five, pretty much the same as mine, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, it should be great. But, yeah, I just, uh, I like the placement of that. It's, uh, it's like a mid-mount motor, but it's a, a, a hub motor it, acting as a mid-mount. Very cool. One more note. Everything right out of the box seems to be right on. The tire pressures are all uh, good. The uh, chain tensions uh, need no adjustment. Even the brake uh, handles uh, and cables uh, are, have just uh, the right tension for uh, normal braking. So pretty much right out of the box this thing is. Uh, you just, uh, you know, you undress it of all this stuff down here and uh, swing a few uh, arms and, you know, clamp down a few uh, little uh, uh, handles here and there. And uh, yeah, you could be on the road uh, pretty quick. Now, I mean, I did this, uh, you know, a little longer than most with doing the camera doing it the way I do it but uh, I suppose you could do what has just been done here in 30 minutes to an hour depending on who you are how you are and uh, you know maybe in a, an hour or more uh, be riding this thing and those uh, sidewalls uh, that's a, a reflective uh, strip you know I I get those on my uh, Schwalbe, but I think I have to pay extra for the ones that have the uh, reflective uh, sidewalls, but I do, I like them, uh, you know, they, uh, at night they do, they, uh, you know, light up with the, the car headlights, so uh, that's a nice uh, little touch there. I didn't notice that uh, at first, but I took the magnifying glass with the, this lighted, and you press a button, and sure enough, it's reflective, and uh, I think I mentioned those, uh, uh, idlers down there, but they're not idlers, they're actually uh, tensioners, it's not spring loaded, so uh, you know there's no lateral way to tighten the chain, so you have to do it vertically, so they just put a sprocket there and an adjuster, and so you uh, take out the slack that way. Otherwise, uh, you know, right in between there, there's about an inch and a half that uh, if somebody really wanted to narrow the tail section, like me, I, I narrowed the tail section on this one, uh, and uh, it looks like I could cut that tube right there and shorten the axle, however, it's uh, fitted on the end there with a collar, or a threaded uh, shaft, I don't know what's, what's in there, but uh, there's about an inch and a half I could cut right out of there and, and uh, just put a collar there to fit the uh, fender back up to it, so that would take... Uh, about three inches out of the tail section, just in case you wanted to narrow that back there. It's not going to change the stability too much. There's plenty of uh, width back there, and uh, that's what I did over here. There was a reason I wanted it uh, to be a narrower, not by a bunch, though. And one more mention about this uh, single speed and the uh, uh, differentials and uh, rear drives, but uh, 
If you ever wanted to change the uh, ratio uh, of that single speed, maybe you got a little more hilly country, or maybe you want to get more top speed out of this, and you don't worry about going up inclines or anything, you could change these uh, sprocket sizes easily enough, I'm sure. I can see that, uh, yeah, uh, I wouldn't have a problem finding a, a sprocket to uh, made up in there, uh, either here or back here. You go a little longer uh, uh, size, more teeth, you'd get uh, uh, you know a higher ratio, and so you could climb more, have faster takeoffs, uh, pull heavier stuff, or you could start to reduce them, uh, or increase this one here uh, and uh, get to more top speed. So yeah, it, there's flexibility in there. It may not look like it to most, but uh, and most may not ever want to tamper with anything in there, but uh, there's potential in there too. Battery did take some hours to uh, charge up, so uh, you're not going to be uh, out of here in one hour like I thought maybe, but uh, it did. It, I charged it overnight. It, I think it took at least four hours to give it a charge, but uh, there was a couple of connectors, uh, red and green, uh, that uh, were color-coded, and they, they were connected up top here, and I thought, okay, well, I just uh, uh, check it, and uh, I connected them, and, uh, you know, this thing uh, powers up uh, easily enough with the button, you hold it down, but uh, you had to uh, 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 push that uh, uh, charge, uh, uh, reset there because uh, it goes into a sleep mode after 48 hours so the shipment this didn't come on until you hit that uh, reset or wake up button and everything comes on fine but uh, one uh, mysterious thing is that uh, you know that, uh, that front light there I installed that I kind of don't like how it sticks out but the horn is uh, uh, integrated into that uh, light as well and if you come up top here, uh, I tell you, I really, I really don't see a switch for the uh, horn or a button, uh, a switch for the light or a button for the horn anywhere. I mean, I would think it'd be right about here. So there might have been an inline, uh, you know, with those disconnected, they may still be sending my friend uh, one last thing. She's got something else coming. She got. Uh, you know, the mirrors and the, the, the locks separately. So there may be a, a, a straggler part uh, on that switch because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking high and low. And I put this uh, little mechanical bell ringer. I had an extra and I thought, yeah, she needs one of those because uh, the horn is, uh, you know, impolite to let people know you're coming up on them. This is uh, a little uh, more subtle and uh, happier. But uh, yeah, there's a, a simple layout here. It's uh, plus, minus, on, off. Uh, the plus, uh, you can see the pedal assist. You can adjust it, and it tells you all the stuff here on pedal assist. But uh, And then if it's on, and you want to uh, cycle through some of these lower settings, uh, you know, how far you've traveled, or what else? Uh, oh, that's the uh, volts. The actual uh, in numerical fashion that's a good thing not just this energy bar I like to know the exact volts numerically current and the time we wonder if it has temperature now nah. but yeah odometer is important volts is important uh, speed is in there pedal assist pretty simple layout pretty easy intuitive not too complicated you know mine does a little more than that but uh, I like this. It's uh, simple, easy, clear. So you just hold down the uh, button for two seconds and it's uh, off. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a real curiosity about uh, the switch and the button for the lights. But uh, I'm trusting that uh, the company uh, is, is aware of that and uh, that there is a, a little inline switch uh, it goes in here. I just uh, I don't have it, and uh, I don't see it. I can't find it. I'm not gonna, you know, drive myself crazy trying to find it out. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go on uh, the internet and uh, you know look up uh, XP Trike, uh, you know, light switch horn. Maybe somebody's come across this too. So we'll find out. But uh, I'm not sweating it. Okay. So I did go on the internet, and I. Uh, Punched in uh, a question about uh, horns and uh, switches on the XP trike, 
and uh, it said, yeah, uh, and you know, they have a manuals for all their models. There was not a hard copy in here, so I, I just guess they want to save paper or something, and uh, you go online and you get the PDF, and it's very exhaustive, very complete, very good, and uh, the way to turn on the light, you see, the light is not on. You just hold down the plus button for uh, three seconds, and uh, bingo, bango, it's on. Okay, and we're back uh, at the website to uh, electric cycles for the XP Tricare. I just thought I'd pull this up while I'm going to go look at the uh, manual and just point out to you, this is, you know, the sales literature and orientation. But it looks like they've come down uh, in price on that, uh, that uh, optional seat from 39 to, yeah, 39 to 29. But, this is more uh, what I'm looking at right here, these uh, parameter settings. You don't have to change any of them. They're all in line with uh, what I would think is normative and best for uh, just about everybody. So, uh, you know, look, at, look over the manual. The manual's great. Uh, I think there's like 50 pages or more, and it's uh, really thought through and worked out. You know, unlike you know, some Asian uh, products do have uh, poor literature. This is good literature. This uh, undoubtedly was uh, put together on the electric side, you know. Those guys, uh, let's see, look like some hippie guys here. Yeah, these kind of guys, they probably uh, put them together. So, you know, they're bright enough and uh, they uh, put together some good literature. And the website, look at this, it's great. The marketing is uh, undoubtedly fantastic because uh, people are loving this thing. And the price is right and, uh, you know, love the free market. You know, everybody wins. It's a win-win. You know, buyer and seller comes together and they both, uh, you know, make out in the transaction. They're happy to sell this and make a profit on it. And, you know, people like my friend that I recommended this try to, uh, you know, she's happy to pay this price. And, and, Get the value of the product, you know. And so uh, it's a win-win. I love the free market. There's a, a horn included in this particular light style type, but I don't believe this electric trike has the uh, the horn feature uh, in use. And you can see back there, there's uh, two tail lights on the uh, two fenders and that middle one uh, I'm going to hit the brake and uh, see if it uh, throws a brake light. Oh, wow. Throws them is that a, on all of them, yeah. So, yeah, that's a, a real nice uh, brake light feature. And uh, so, yeah, no horn, though, as far as I can tell. But uh, luckily, I had an extra one of these, so she's got something to uh, let people know. But uh, no horn. And one other thing I noticed is that, you know, when you... Uh, power it off and I just did and then repower it on you know the lights are not on it's not like a manual switch so it resets to not on I think there's an auto uh, uh, feature if you want it to come on it will and uh, another nice thing uh, uh, on this uh, system is that uh, when you power it off and power it back up it resets the odometer automatically on my uh, LCD uh, there, uh, you know, you got to hold the, the two uh, up and down uh, keys uh, to reset it. So uh, it's nice that it automatically does it. If you forget, then, you know, you'll know, okay, yeah, no, I, I forgot, but I didn't have to. So it's always, uh, you're on a new journey every time you uh, uh, repower. Yeah, very good. I'm liking it. All right, sliming the tires is usually a, a messy proposition. It's good to have a the right tool and this metal one uh, had some uh, ears hanging off it and I had to cut them off because it just uh, you know you couldn't really get around the spokes too much so this worked pretty good and did I mention these uh, very cool parking brake features both sides have it you, know, you release it just squeeze it locks the uh, front or the back or both uh, in place but uh, you know I keep looking I can't find the uh, kickstand I think they forgot to send the kickstand with this truck yeah that uh, 
that isn't really an idler down there. That is a uh, a tension adjuster. It's just uh, it's fixed. It's not spring loaded. And uh, at first I thought it was just an idler, but there's no uh, lateral movement in that frame to tension the chain. So you got to do something vertical, and uh, that's what they did. Now on mine, uh, I had kind of that same. Uh, problem but uh, what I did was I put a, uh, uh, a bottom bracket shell I welded it in there and there's a an eccentric uh, uh, bottom bracket you just rotate it around and it tensions it it's it's off center it's not uh, concentric it's eccentric and I, I think they're pretty cool I, I do like them and uh, there's no threads in that uh, bottom bracket either so you just rotate it and it's like a, a cam lobe and you know, the chain gets tighter and then you twist it down with a, an Allen key and uh, it tightens it up. Okay, and here's the electric trike. You know, it seems a little downsized in comparison to a, a more typical trike. The one in the back there has the 24-inch uh, tires. The electric has the 20-inch uh, tires, but they're fat tires, so they look uh, beefy. They don't look, uh, you know, skinny and, and you know, kind of fragile. They look uh, pretty beefy. And uh, you can see the geometry between uh, the electric, even with the 20-inch tires, the geometry is about the same as the standard trike. You know, the uh, handlebars come to rest at the same place, the seats can, the crank arms, you know, they're they're just identical for adult geometry pedaling. Those three points uh, are the same. A little shorter. This is a little wider. This has uh, oh, about 30 inches and a half width in the tail section. I narrowed mine down to uh, 28 inches, but uh, uh, you know, 30 inches and a half. This will get uh, through a 32 inch doorway and uh, you know, I made mine a little narrower so I could get through a 30 inch interior doorway, but uh, 32 is just fine. Now I spoke to my uh, friend on the phone yesterday. He called me and he's got uh, one of the newer uh, full size trikes you know, those $2,500 ones, and I really liked it. He brought it over. I was going to do some modifying on it, but he moved away, and uh, he still keeps in touch. But uh, that one has a 35-inch uh, 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 distance between the two rear wheels, so he has a lot of trouble getting through even a 36-inch door. He says he has to go real slow. So, you know, either one of these is a, a dandy to me compared to that bigger one. I do like that bigger trike, but uh, you know, it has that slight uh, width issue for him and uh, for most people probably not, but uh, even going through parking lots, you know, having a little narrower uh, uh, trike is probably better. You don't want to clip stuff and uh, I usually, and, and it follows with the electric too, that these uh, handlebars with their mirrors on it, just like mine too, I've uh, even cut the uh, handlebars uh, up there to make sure that what uh, the width I have with my hands apart is about the width uh, behind me with the uh, the tires uh, uh, distance. So, you know, you can kind of know if you can get through with the, the uh, uh, handlebars, you'll get through with the, uh, the wheels behind you. So it's kind of a helpful little thing. Otherwise... Uh, yeah, I like the downsized uh, look, and uh, even for a male, I mean, for a female, this looks ideal because it's a little smaller and it's, I don't know, easy step through. And uh, but even for a, an adult man, I think this would be uh, just fine because you know the attitude about uh, you know sizes and shapes and step throughs uh, are changing. Even for men, it used to be you know if you had a step through, that's a girl bike. I don't want to be on a girl bike, but nah, people don't care anymore. And, Especially if you're older, you're getting to be a senior citizen or something. Uh, you want to make it a little easier. You don't want to have to throw your leg all the way over that big old basket. Just step through. So yeah, it's looking good, baby. Okay, I'm uh, really not liking this light right out in front there. It's almost uh, the same distance as the tire if you smashed up on a wall or something. So, I'm guessing this thing's going to get uh, bandied and bashed about uh, over the long term. So uh, I'm going to remove it and I uh, 
just happen to have a, a split collar that I'm going to put right up here and put a, a tab on it so this can be uh, retreated into a, a safer area. And uh, then it'll turn with the steering, uh, which may be good or better than it being fixed here because the basket doesn't turn. But uh, I don't think it really makes a difference. But uh, it might be nice when you're at, at a, a stationary position and you want to turn the handlebars to make the light shine in different spots. I don't know, but uh, I do. I just want to get it up here out, uh, out of the way uh, of being bashed around up front. Okay, and you can see where I'm going with this with the tack ups and you know, it, uh, it approximates uh, this same uh, mechanism. And so uh, that will be great. And there it is, a couple of petite uh, little welds uh, just on the outside. It'll be plenty, but uh, that's it. The, the welding's done. I might do a little uh, finishing. Those uh, little tacks on the corner uh, or on the edge uh, create a little bump. I might knock them down with the sand or something. I don't know. But I'll get the uh, final finishing uh, and then uh, coat it with some of that uh, undercoating that uh, like I said it approximates that uh, that finish that's already on the stuff. Hey okay, there it is mounted with the collar with the uh, paint finish to match it uh, it's a real close match and uh, this uh, added uh, extension uh, uh, doesn't need to be used uh, in the loom here it can revert back to the original stuff I might zip tie that up a little differently because it might touch down here, but uh, I discovered uh, a, a good uh, a use for that tab hanging down. It's just to delete the uh, reflector from this uh, apparatus and uh, just drill a hole uh, behind this and put a, a sheet screw, a lath screw, and this is recessed, so that's a good spot for it. And it covers that tab. I don't have to cut it off or anything, so there you have it. That is the... Uh, I think a more elegant solution and uh, still this uh, there's a horn inside this uh, light and it's I think a, a little underutilized by this uh, design uh, it's in there and it's uh, there's no moment momentary contact switch to make it happen so you know I just put on the uh, little uh, mechanical dinger it's a, a little more uh, polite uh, way to let people know you're there but uh, a horn, uh, I think, is uh, is useful, you know, to really let people know, uh, you know, in a little more critical situation. Well, there it is, loosely fit. It allows uh, some movement, uh, limited movement, but not uh, to go beyond here. So, you know, when you're turning, it's uh, it's got uh, space and nothing really chokes it down or braids it. Okay, the uh, support seat came in separately. And as you can see, there it is with the backrest. And you'll notice also that the uh, standard seat has these uh, uh, tension and compression springs and this one doesn't. Not that it matters because this has the seat post uh, suspension. So, you know, it was redundant having two of those. But the point I, I wanna make though is, I like this better without any of this uh, uh, compression and uh, uh, tension spring because this little hoop uh, between them will break down sometimes and I've welded them up uh, in the past at least one of them uh, but I think I've seen a couple of these break down sometimes this can be really flimsy this doesn't look terribly flimsy but uh, I just uh, I see this as a, as a weak point and uh, now that's uh, gone so it's uh, I think a little more stable plus the suspension is still there so very nice and it's only a $39 upgrade so I'd say do it okay I modified this uh, reflective triangle even more I trimmed some at the bottom brought it down I kind of hid that uh, vacant hole that way I I just uh, you know with the seat all the way down it was touching and that has that suspension post and uh, it would have banged on that so I left uh, just about the right amount of space I think that it uh, won't do that there's clearance now and uh, there's a little little bit less placard down at the bottom but that won't matter 
Okay, and now for the demo. Uh, I've asked my friend Logan to uh, help me do the demo. You might might have seen him on a, a few other uh, videos uh, he's been involved in on the channel. But this is the electric XP trike. And uh, there's my other backup trike. Uh, that's been on a video. And here's Logan's trike, or uh, e-bike as well. And, uh, you know, we did that project uh, in here. He's got a new frame now. And uh, I asked him to uh, bring his uh, bike out because uh, it has a, a similarity to this trike. Uh, and, you know, it, it's a slight concern of mine, but not really, because uh, his uh, uh, chain line has only a single speed. And I've often, uh, you know, asked him initially that, uh, you know, is that enough? Don't, don't you want gears? Uh, you know, it's electric too. So, you know, I'm going to ask Logan to. Uh, put this one uh, through a similar pace as his by coming up this uh, incline. It's about five degrees incline and decline without uh, any electric power to see how easy it is to pedal with just that one speed up, no electric power. Now ideally these are for uh, elderly uh, uh, people who still got a lot of pep I would think. That's the demographic for an electric trike but uh, maybe others too. Like my friend, I think she's only 45 ish but anyway logan how many uh electric trikes have you ever ridden two that's right two and a half, two and a half. <laughs> okay you've ridden that one in the middle right yes. and you've uh, ridden our friend uh oh what's his name dennis yes that trike now see i wanted to uh, use logan for this uh because he's a reference. He's ridden this other trike that, uh, you know, has been here. I haven't ridden it, but he has, and it's a, a, a standard, uh, a new standard uh, for trikes. It's, uh, I believe the wheels are 26 inches, and it's front wheel drive. It's big, it's sturdy, it's, it's good quality, and it's about 2,500 bucks. And this trike here is more like 1,500. But Logan has uh, ridden one of these now. My trike there has the uh, 24 inch wheels and those were and probably still are the standard trike uh, wheel size but now there's the bigger wheel sizes that are coming online with some good quality trikes and this is different because it has 20 inch wheels but as I pointed out in another uh, uh, clip uh, uh, with the two trikes uh, lined up the geometry is the same the pedals hit about the same uh, place as the seat hits and the handlebars. So this looks a little downsized, but I, I don't think it's gonna feel downsized. But so anyway, what I'm gonna ask Logan to do is hop on my uh, middle trike to refresh his memory on what it feels like to be on a standard trike front drive because this is rear drive differential. So go ahead, hop on it, uh, uh, go down the, the street and come back real quickly and I'll mention on uh, um, trikes, you know, don't don't ever put your uh, take your feet off the pedals when you're moving, and uh, go slow on curves, especially going down a decline. You wouldn't want to make a sharp turn right at the bottom of the uh, driveway. There, you could tip. Not likely. All right, he's going to take a little refresh, refreshment of his memory. And here I'm uh, just going to uh, take uh, uh, a few moments to uh, point out the website of Electric. You can see the uh, price is still holding. It is June still uh, for me. I got, got it all set up, ready to hand off to my friend. Uh, I've uh, had my little buddy Logan out there demoing it. We captured the video. And... Uh, you know, all those uh, PDF files for the uh, manuals are here. You know, you can see the design is sim uh, similar throughout the uh, their product line, but uh, good value. So, uh, and I'll just show you what is is uh, comparable. You know, I, I'm I'm going to say that that uh, electric uh, XP trike is the the best first choice uh, for quality and value in its price range, but. Now these units, uh, uh, I had a neighbor uh, named Dennis uh, around the corner. He moved away recently, but we're still in touch. He had one of these, uh, and uh, both Logan and I were impressed 
with these as well, but you can see they're, you know, more than a thousand dollars more, uh, and uh, you really don't need to spend. Now my uh, friend paid uh, about twenty-two hundred dollars for his, you know, free shipping, no tax. Okay, yeah, you don't have to do that. That, that has a geared uh, hub uh, for a transmission, so it's no problem for this to get up uh, an incline like that. Okay, go ahead and put that, put that away in the garage somewhere, and we'll move on. Maybe I'll take a quick peek at uh, Logan's single uh, sprocket in the back there, so you see what I'm talking about. Under that saddlebag, there's just a, a single gear. Uh, you know, Amazon, you'll you'll pay tax because I think they've got a business presence in every uh, taxing zone now. So, you know, go with the uh, XP and deliver or uh, get it uh, ordered uh, out of state uh, from them directly. And you don't have to pay any tax. But uh, yeah, these units. Uh, uh, are quite good too but you know it's got the shocking system you don't need that they're they're kind of choppy those uh, front shocks and uh, you know the tires are a different size it's got uh, uh, an internal geared hub or a derailleur so you know if you want that uh, you'll probably prefer one of these but these suckers are wide he said his is 35 inches uh, uh, width uh, between the back uh, tires so you know, that can be a problem. And uh, here, here it is already. I'm making the video. I'm putting it together. And already there's a gaggle of people who've already reviewed it. And, uh, you know, I think this is the one that, yeah, Electric uh, tried to put out themselves. And this was before it was released, but they had a, a, a copy. I don't want to trigger the uh, IP right clicking on the video but uh, yeah people are already digging it and for good reason you know they're gonna they're, they're coming to the same conclusion I, I am and, and that is uh, it's the best value out there it's not the cheapest trike and uh, but for its price range I think it's the best value so the best bang for the buck I'm gonna be saying some of those same things you're gonna be hearing them I've said them already because I'm almost done I'm gonna, I'll do the intro for the uh, video and it'll be the outro too sometimes i do it that way i'm just about at the tail end of finishing all the clips but this is some of it here and uh, i'm just going to say wow they they must have been uh, really promoting this well because already you know th these things are just uh, being delivered now and you know two days one month uh, you know three days ago and you know, mine's going to be up there pretty soon too. And uh, you know, but I, you know, I, I think I have some insights uh, in the design and a little, a little refining uh, 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 moments I can bring and share. But uh, my uh, actual channel uh, uh, looks something like this. You'll see, you know, what I do and I do some welding and fabricating and uh, e-bike stuff too. So. Yeah, this one, the e-trike, this one is Logan's bike when we modified that. And there's, there's a lot more videos there. Practical hands-on stuff. Yeah, my internet connection is through my phone, so it's not too whippy all the time. But yeah, a lot of uh, riding mower stuff. I dig the stuff. And uh, welding, fabrication, and Blocks and you know, just plinking around stuff. Anyway, and gardening too. I used to have a, about 3,000 square feet of uh, melon garden, but uh, you know, it was a while back. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, sew this up and uh, do the intro and the outro and in the living room, but I just thought I'd capture a couple of these uh, web pages and you know, video sites so you can kind of see what's going on. Anyway, uh, 
I got my uh, uh, buddy to do the demo because he's ridden a, a few uh, e-trikes and we uh, did his uh, um, e-bike uh, project right in the same garage you're going to see. So, you know, he's a good reference uh, about, uh, you know, feedback. And uh, I, we've completed the project. Uh, we did the demo and took the, captured the video. And so I'm just doing this last segment uh, now uh, as the intro and it'll be the outro too but uh, and one more thing uh, the uh, electric uh, people uh, they this was a pre-release uh, you know my friend asked uh, me for a, a recommendation on a trike and I, I told her this one because I, I saw a video of this pre-release uh, unit and the pricing of it uh, through uh, electric and I thought oh that's a winner I gotta tell her about this one and sure enough, she bought it, and uh, she had them deliver it to me so I could, you know, put it together, unbox it, and do a few little refinements, and, uh, you know, they've been done. And, uh, we're going to go on it and uh, put it through the paces. Single speed, the differential uh, rear drive, so, you know, it's going to be cool. It's, I think it's going to be a, a whole different feel, so let's roll on. You got your pedal assist uh, uh, selected? What are you on? Three, five? Okay, you, you want to go just uh, throttle for starters? When we get to the path, then we'll do the pedaling where there's perfectly uh, even uh, surfaces. All right, go ahead. I'm going to let you uh, go ahead of me. I, I'll uh, record. And, uh, I do like this thing, and I will recommend it uh, for almost anybody. That will be the default choice is the electric XP trike for anybody. I think it, you know, the literature says 15 uh, miles per hour. We'll see up, up top here. I'm showing more. I'm showing about 14 right now. But uh, on the smoother surface, we'll check. No, no, don't go through the middle, go through the sides. Okay. All right, open it up, have a ball, do whatever you want, but stop down at the, uh, the, the tee off point. Yeah, I got about 15 miles, 16. How do the brakes feel? Okay, now, what do you think about the uh, the differential? Both of those rear tires are driven, so. I didn't really notice it. It's just like a regular bike. Okay, okay. No, it, uh, it so it's uh, neutral, not, nothing uh, radically different in feel, huh? How about the uh, 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 comfort in your positioning, you know? The handlebars, would they go up a little bit uh, for you? You're a little taller. Okay. Pedaling, it's about right. The cranking. Pretty good, except for you got to make sure your feet are flat before you'll hit the ground. Okay, right, right. That that does happen sometimes. Um, so, pedal assist, you, you had it on five the whole time? 16.5. Miles per hour? Okay, perfect. So. Put it on three, uh, pedal assist three, and, and see where that gets you, an average traveling speed at three. So pedal assist at three. I'll follow you down a little ways and, and just tell me what uh, kind of speed that gives a person. That might be more normative for just uh, rolling around in a, in a neighborhood, heading your way down to the supermarket or something. That's three. Drop it down to two. Your pedaling's too easy. Drop, drop it down to two. Is that easier still? Wow, I thought it'd be easier at the higher numbers, but uh, 
Oh, it slows you down though. Your speed slows be to keep the same cadence. All right, I got about nine, 10 miles an hour there for you. 8.4. See, that's a pretty nice, uh, uh, comfortable uh, traveling speed. Not for you, not for me, but for a lot of people it will be. You know, if you got a senior citizen who still likes to be active, uh, they probably dig that right there. But still, now, if you're on the, uh, the lower uh, pedal assist and you hit the throttle, do you get any more juice? Okay, so to get the throttle juice, you got to step up the numbers, huh? Okay, that's good to know. Okay, at just two? At one, okay. Well, that's good to know too, so. But you can always, uh, uh, you know, pick up the cadence with the pedaling and, and increase at that level. So, so, you know, my guess is that uh, a lot of people would probably just keep it at five and pedal if they want or not, or just on and off the throttle. I don't know. All right, let's head back, and uh, I think we've got enough information, don't you? All right, I'm going to kill this. We'll wrap it up uh, back at the garage. So what are you at now? 11.5. No, 3, 5, what do you at? 5. Okay, see, 5, 5 is probably where you would leave it right and just pedal and not pedal intermittently correct okay yeah and you know keeping it down to this speed 15 16 miles an hour is going to keep you out of trouble <laughs> and a lot of other people too because you know they don't need to be speed demons this is uh this is nice i mean i would be happy enough it, it at something like this, I suppose, even though this this thing will go twice that, but uh, that's a secret. Okay, there you are. That's five, you're just no pedaling, 15-ish, 16-ish. Yeah, no, that looks good. That looks real good. I still got this, uh, my uh, cell phone uh, capturing the video, so I'm still live. And that uh, seat uh, shock system, it looks like you're all the way down. So does it only come up when you hit bumps and stuff? So do you feel it kind of teetering right in the right spot? But you're kind of a heavy guy, so you know, a lighter person would probably get a, a better experience from that uh, seat post uh, spring system. Mirrors, uh, you know, seem uh, fitted up right. Okay. You're in the creeks or anything okay no it looks great
Okay, you're, you're strictly going to pedal, huh? Great. Yeah, it's not bad. Great. All right. I like the thing. How about those parking brakes, too? Yeah, I dig those. You know, they forgot the kickstand, though. <laughs> and there, there is another trike that is competent, too, but uh, it's another thousand bucks or more uh, for it. And it's, it's bigger, it's wider. It's uh, So I like this uh, uh, little downsized uh, size and uh, design of the XP trike. And, you know, I'll go in depth. But... So they uh, had the introductory price at uh, $14.99, and you got some extras, and uh, uh, my friend got the extra uh, seat uh, with the back support and uh, some a lock, a lock and mirrors, and so she, she probably ended up uh, paying about $1,700 total. No tax out of state, so uh, you know, don't buy this stuff off Amazon. They tax everything now. They used to not tax everything, but now they have a business presence uh, certificate in just about every state, so you'll pay taxes, but not through uh, electric uh, if you're out of the state there. Different. Even if it doesn't feel much different to some people, I think it's uh, uh, better. But uh, And that gets me back to... Uh, the company itself, Electric, is uh, uh, in the southwest of North America, and you know they're not the producer, and, but they're they have undoubtedly the exclusive right to distribute these trikes, and these uh, two wheelers in this uh, design from a factory in China, and much like my uh, uh, Everlast welder, this is an advanced uh, TIG welder, ACDC with. Uh, waveforms and advanced features and uh, you know it, it's uh, eight and a half years old and uh, it's but it's uh, in uh, South San Francisco it's uh, you know it's a port city so they uh, uh, import these and they have the exclusive right to uh, this design and uh, in the North American market you, now there were uh, some similar ones uh, could be seen in the UK but uh, they, their specs were different so uh, uh, anyway, uh, these are uh, sold by Everlast, and uh, Everlast has design input, too. They can have uh, some of the things modified, and uh, I, I saw an example of that same uh, a tendency with these uh, trikes. I saw the uh, original uh, video from the electric trike showroom. Some guy, uh, you know, poked around and said, can you do something about that and change something here and there? I, I believe uh, they did. They had this uh, modified, revised slightly. So, you know, the American companies do have design input into the products that they import. So, uh, and uh, I really uh, dig uh, Everlast, uh, and I think uh, people are going to really dig Electric in much the same way. I'll, I'll give you a quick example, not to go too much off into a tangent, but tangent, but. Uh, this Everlast has five years uh, parts and labor uh, free for uh, those five years. and uh, But I've had this for over eight years and uh, I had a problem recently and uh, it's off warranty. So, you know, I kind of wondered, well, maybe it'll be time to get a new welder. This one's lasted me well and I'd probably buy another one just like it, but uh, they've updated the design. It looks a little different, but still it, it's... Uh, one of the best values out there for a, an advanced featured TIG welder for one third of the price of, of the uh, blue and red units. But, uh, you know, it was uh, about three, four, five weeks ago, I don't know, a month or more ago. And it was in this very garage. Uh, my little buddy Logan wanted to make some pickup money. And he, uh, uh, you know, was sweeping this out, giving the, uh, the garage and a good sweep down. and. Uh, you know, I said at the end he could use the uh, leaf blower to blow the dust out too, and uh, undoubtedly some metal particles got inside the welder because I, I used it about an hour later after that uh, sweep down and blow down, and uh, 
there was a snap, a pop, and I saw a spark when I was starting it up, and I thought, uh-oh, trouble in paradise. So I took off the hood, and uh, sure enough, there was a little board, a daughter board, uh, that uh, one of the traces were burnt up, and a diode resistor uh, were blown. So, you know, I got uh, with the uh, uh, service people at Everlast, and uh, they said, yeah, send us some pictures of this, that, and the uh, serial number, and uh, we'll quote you on what, uh, you know, we can get that daughter board for you, uh, for. And uh, they came back and quoted me $149, and I gladly paid that. There was no shipping, no tax, thank you, China. And it did, it came directly from China to, to, my, to my door. And uh, uh, that was just, uh, and, and it solved my problem. I, I'm good to go again, and so wow. You know, even out of warranty, you know, the American companies with the uh, uh, Asian producers really make a, a, a good product and, and they have the uh, service to go with it. So I'm guessing electric is much the same. I see all their uh, accessories and stuff are, you know, labeled electric. So uh, they've got a good relationship uh, with their uh, factory. And uh, undoubtedly on trikes, uh, you're going to be able to get uh, replacement parts uh, from uh, the Southwest. You know, they, they don't, they're not as specialized as electronics. Now, I believe the uh, little daughter board uh, was made up on the fly in China and uh, came to me uh, three days later. Incredible. And because this is eight and a half years old, they don't have, you know, big, uh, you know, shelves full of extra parts. They just make them up. They just whip out a schematic and boom, boom, boom. And it, it's done. It was fresh. It wasn't a nine-year-old daughter board. This thing was smelled like plastic just made you know so anyway but uh unlike that i think electric probably has you know extra controllers extra lights uh, on their shelves in the southwest so i don't think you have to have it sent from china they'll have a lot of this stuff uh, on hand and so uh and interestingly much like everlast when everlast comes out with a new unit they'll uh have the pre uh, uh, sale before uh, you know the products uh, come in on the ships they'll uh, sell them at an introductory price you know they'll have had some prototypes and people will do the videos and and then they'll announce okay you can buy them at this lower price for a limited time and that's exactly what uh, they were doing with this trike too this uh, one was priced at uh, $1499 or 1500 you know introductory before it's released and uh, sure enough that's what my friend did and uh, so she's uh, gonna save some money because these will undoubtedly go up a couple hundred, you know, before long. And that's just another thing, you know. Thank you, China. They they're uh, helping us with the inflation problem. You know, if, uh, if it wasn't uh, China producing these kind of goods, uh, they would be unaffordable to people, or people would have to do without a lot of other things just to afford uh, what. Uh, uh, you know, would cost more undoubtedly. So, you know, it's it's China is keeping the uh, standard of living up for you know people in on the North American continent, continent, and everywhere else on the planet. I mean, you know, thank you, thank you, China, thank you, Everlast, and thank you, Electric. Uh, good values. I like it. The project is done. Uh, the price is great. They had it. Uh, a reduced price for the pre-release uh, uh, and uh, I don't know how long that'll last but it's the best uh, deal in town I think it's not the lowest price trike but uh, it's the best deal for the quality and uh, design it's really a bright design and uh, with that feature that differential so you'll see me going through the paces and poking around and doing some little extra things and uh, I think this will be, you know, the most in-depth video out there already. It's hard to believe it's uh, June 11th or 12th right now. They just started, you know, it arrived to me here a week ago or so. And uh, and already there's a dozen videos. People saying, oh, yeah, it's great. I just got it. You know, they, you know, June 4th, you know, and they're making videos on it already. So, uh I've had a little more time to digest and go through it and put it through some, some of my paces, mental and physical. But uh, 
So I'm going to be another one out there. Another video is uh, on the XP trike, but uh, in mine are kind of lengthy. I sometimes go into rationales and things. And so you'll hear some of that. So if you really want to study up on the XP trike, this video I think will um, add to the conversation. But uh, already the conversation is very positive. I mean, uh, people are loving these XP trikes and for good reason. So I'll leave it there. And then I'll get to uh, uh, editing the video. It's going to take a day or two for that. So you might see this video pop up in a few days. Okay, thank you.